Hey everyone, this is William. I'm just driving down the freeway right now, and I thought came to my mind about how people learn. This is something that I've been studying for a little while, and I'm going to take you through the four levels of learning that everybody naturally does. So if you got a moment, just sit back and pay attention, and uh, hopefully we won't get in an accident while I'm film filming this. Yeah, it's on my dash, so see? Here's a hand, here's a hand, I'm good. I'm not holding my camera. But I am hitting the speed bump, so there we go. So, okay, the first level of learning. Unconscious incompetence. Basically, actually, let me, I'm going to name the four levels and then I'm going to break them all down. So the first level is unconscious incompetence. The second one is conscious incompetence. The third level is conscious competence. And the fourth level is unconscious competence. I know, we just changed the words around, right? But they have very, very significant meaning. The first one, unconscious incompetence, I want you to think about this term, you don't know what you don't know. You, at, in, at unconscious incompetence, you don't know what you don't know. You don't know that, say for example, when you're a child, that you needed to have your shoes tied. At some point, you are aware of it, but it's information you didn't have. How about going all the way back to the days where the world was flat? Everybody thought that the world was flat. So most pe people had the unconscious, incompetence, and not of not knowing that the world is actually round. Little mind trick, isn't it, huh? You gotta think about this. All right, so the second level is competence, or I'm sorry, conscious incompetence. That means you are aware of something that you do not know, or you're unaware, or you're aware of something that you're not aware of everything that you should know. So for example, earlier we were using a child in shoes. If you have at some point when you're like maybe two years old or so, you knew you needed your shoes tied, but you didn't know how to tie your shoes. So you'd go and talk to somebody and say, hey, I'll you know, tie my shoes. Or how about the people that were on the boat back in Columbus Day, and as they continued to sail towards that cliff, they never found the cliff. But the people who were back on land watched the boat get smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller across the horizon. That both of them all of a sudden had a conscious incompetence. They knew something existed, but wasn't sure exactly how that worked. So now we're going to move into the third level of learning, which is conscious competence. This is where you know about something, and you know a little bit about how to do it. Kind of like this video right now. I'm not 100% positive on all the exercises of every single level, but I'm learning. So conscious competence teaches you that you need to go out and practice something that you learn to become a master. When you become a master, then you've reached unconscious competence. Kind of like what it is that I'm doing right now. I'm driving. And I don't need to put a lot of frontal lobe thought into this because I spent a lot of other time. But we'll get back to that in a moment. So, conscious, comp conscious competence is the learning stage where you learn how to master something. So, going back to our child example, you're learning how to tie your shoes. You kind of get it most of the time, but every once in a while you stumble and you fall. Kind of like... When you're a child and you're learning how to walk, you fall down. Or when you're learning to drive when you're 16, 15, 16, and all of a sudden, you know, you're, you don't know whether you should step on the gas, step on the brake, turn the signal, somebody's in the, your parents, you know, next to you, you're shouting out a direction, and you're freaking out. Well, that's not really great, is it? But you're learning and you're practicing. Com competent consciousness is the level of doing over and over and over till you actually master it which brings us to unconscious competence 
that's what I'm doing right now. I'm driving, for, for the most part, unconsciously. Have you ever gotten in your car and you've driven someplace, but you don't remember the trip? That's unconscious competence. You, your brain started processing the information, and then you got there. It processed everything that you're doing, but you weren't thinking about it. You're having a conversation with your friend that was in the car. You're listening to the radio. You're singing. You're on the phone. Unconscious competence, or a conscious competence. No, I'm sorry. Unconscious competence. See, I keep stumbling around with it because I'm really, really, really trying to focus. So this is my practice. Unconscious competence is when you're down there bending your over and tying your shoe, and you're not even thinking about it. You're still having a conversation with your ch your child. You're still, you know, thinking about what you're gonna have for breakfast, what you're gonna say in your business meeting, how you're gonna do a presentation, what you're you're maybe on a phone call at the time. It's that mastery of whatever it is that you know by heart, like the back of your hand. All these sayings that we've always had and used. So, as you go through some of your daily things in life after watching this video, think about it. what level do you know? Do you have to struggle to think about something? Is it something that you just go about your day not knowing or not having to think about and you just do it? Or how many of those moments during the day that somebody comes up to you and gives you something and you go, huh, I didn't know that. Unconscious incompetence. You didn't know something. So, Hopefully this video has helped you out a little bit on understanding the four, le four levels of, of learning because understanding just the concept that there's four stages of, of growth and learning in everything you do, everything you do. First you're not aware of it, then you're aware of it, but you don't know how to do it. Then you know how to do it, but you're not a master at it, and then you become a master at it. Every thing you do in life goes through these four stages. So, think about it, and then tell you what, put your comments below, or get back to me, contact me, tell me what it is that you've enjoyed learning on, about this video, and I look forward to talking to you soon. Take care.